Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our channel Fusion Station. Uh, I hope you all are doing great. Okay, so let's start this video. So today we are going to discuss about uh, high availability, how to configure high availability in Sophos Firewall. Uh, in this video, we will configure the HA setup in quick mode. So generally there are two types of mode, quick mode and interactive mode. So in quick mode, uh, you don't need to configure anything. So you can just configure it using the default one and in the interactive mode we will have to define some parameters so i will show you in the next video uh, using the interactive mode how can we configure hache but in this video we will just configure it using the quick mode so before starting this video uh, i just want to show you uh, here i have two firewalls primary and here is the auxiliary one so in the primary firewall we will configure the ha and keep it as primary and similarly in the case of uh, auxiliary firewall we will select as auxiliary and configure it using the quick a mode okay so firewalls are not uh, configured yet in ha mode so i am using these terminologies primary and auxiliary just uh, to understand the concept so here you can see that uh, we have uh, still getting the options to select the primary or auxiliary so it means that it, so it means the ha is not configured yet but the name you can see uh, here it is showing primary and auxiliary it is just for your reference to understand it which one is the primary and which one is going to be used as an auxiliary firewall and apart from this one, uh, there are uh, some prerequisites that uh, we need to consider before setting up the HA. So the first one is the hardware and the licensing requirements. So make sure we are using the same model uh, and the firmware version on both the firewalls so that uh, there should be no issue. And if we talk about uh, the licensing, uh, the same subscription should be there on both the firewalls and uh, the second thing is if we are using a dedicated uh, HA link so make sure uh, that link uh, is is a separate physical interface link and there should be no IP conflict like if we are using an HA link so both the IPs that we will configure for that link should be in the same subnet let's say uh, we have selected the subnet for the dedicated link is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 so uh, one interface ip address should be 192.168.1.1 and on the other hand uh, the second ip address should be 192.168.1.2 so uh, both these two ip should be in the same subnet and the third one is uh, make sure before configuring the HA setup uh, you have uh, registered both the firewalls so if you have not registered yet and but trying to uh, configure this firewall in HA uh, it may not be set up properly so make sure both firewalls are registered so that they should be uh, configured properly I will mention all the HA prerequisites points in the video description uh, so you can check them once before configuring the HA setup in active SM mode. Okay, now let's navigate uh, to primary firewall. Before configuring the HA, uh, you please make sure uh, the SSH service is enabled for the TMZ zone on both the firewalls. So I have just checked it the SSH service for the DMZ on both the units uh, the same you can see on the auxiliary firewall uh, it is enabled for the DMZ zone and uh, the second point uh, that we need to consider here is if you are configuring the firewall in active passive mode uh, and you have already purchased the license and uh, activated it in in the in any one of these firewalls so make sure wherever you have installed or subscribed the license so that firewall should always act as a primary firewall so in this case uh, you can see that, that this is my primary firewall and in this firewall under the licensing I have uh, 
currently uh, just for demonstration purpose i am making this video just to show you uh, but uh, in in the actual scenario if you have subscribed the license so your status will be showed under this status column as subscribed so whichever the firewall you have selected or you have installed the license that firewall will always act as a primary firewall so now go back to system services and here under HA we are going to configure this firewall as primary so I'm going to initiate the HA on this primary okay so uh, here we have to select the dedicated HA link so we have not configured yet but uh, as I told you uh, we have uh, three interfaces configured on this firewall port A, B and C A is for LAN, B for WAN and C is not configured yet because we are going to use it for the uh, HA purpose so now go back to system services and under dedicated HA link we are going to select this port C interface select this and initiate the HA and same thing you can do on the auxiliary firewall uh, here you can also check the interfaces uh, port A, B, C are there A for LAN, B for WAN and C is not configured yet so we are going to use C for HA now select the system services under high availability so this auxiliary we will select as auxiliary mode or role and under the dedicated HA link you can select the port C apart from this here you can see we are going to configure this uh, HA in the quick mode so by default it is already selected and uh, as per your requirement you can define the node name any so currently I am just keeping it in the default states so now initiate the HA on this auxiliary firewall on the primary unit uh, you will get this message initiated quick HA mode discovery so this setup is gonna take uh, approximately five minutes to configure it and on the auxiliary firewall uh, you can also see that uh, it is processing and uh, once the request is initiated for the HA from the auxiliary firewall it will also show its status on the primary so here we will have to wait for a few minutes then after we will check its status right so here you can see that uh, our HA setup has been uh, established successfully where node 1 is configured as active and node 2 is acting as an auxiliary firewall apart from the status uh, primary and auxiliary you can see that uh, you are also getting high availability configuration where you will get uh, the cluster id node name uh, and other parameters so the main things we just need to check it over here is the uh, pair administration ip address uh, that would be the firewall lan interface ip uh, which should be under the same subnet so that uh, you can access that uh, auxiliary firewall using this IP address so here you can see that uh, this firewall we just uh, initiated the HA when we configured in the auxiliary mode but it is still showing the previous status so just let's refresh this page okay so here you can see that it is showing its status as uh, node 2 primary because uh, now this firewall has become the part of uh, HA cluster and uh, and it is acting as node 2 because if you will check its status in the primary firewall uh, which is actually auxiliary one so air name is showing as node 2 the same is reflecting over here for the auxiliary one 
and here you can also check its status under the system services so this node 2 is the auxiliary one and this node 1 is the primary one which is in the active state so this way you can configure the HA setup for using the quick port in addition to this one uh, you also notice that uh, I have selected the port C interface for the dedicated HA link so we just need to make sure uh, whatever the port that you are opting on primary firewall let's say port C so the same port you need to select it on the uh, auxiliary firewall otherwise if you will select a different ports uh, then uh, the HA will not set up so this was the main point that you need to keep in mind okay so I hope uh, you found this video helpful and uh, next video would be based on the HA setup in interactive mode where we will check it uh, how to configure it and uh, how to configure the parameters in the interactive mode so stay tuned for the next video and till that time take care of self have a great day goodbye